Hi, I'm Shemelaine, and today I am working with a brand new kit. Um, I think this is the second kit from Mind the Scrap. So it started in August, and this is their September kit. So I'm just going to show you what you get in this particular kit. So here's why I'm quite excited. You get the black foam Fitzgerald thickers, which are from my collection, so that's kind of made my day. Um, and then you get other stuff, obviously. You get these wood veneer pieces from Imaginist. There's cameras and balloons and globes and hearts, all lovely things that I like in there. You get these, which are like a really heavy chipboard. They're not wood, but they're also just not, they're way thicker. They're about double thickness of normal chipboard. So you get this big word that says holiday and one that says selfie. They look like they'd be great for adding acrylic paint, especially. I'm sure you can do other things with them. That's just their business card. And you get this acetate piece, which is pretty cool. Something I've never really seen before in the scrapbooking kit. It's, um... It has all the, the little pieces cut out the side where you would run it on an actual reel and says a BBC television film. has little spaces here for title and reel number. Um, just a nice different style of ephemera really. Okay, You get this stamp set, The Sky is the Limit, Take Me Away, Sweet Escape, Take Flight, Follow Your Heart with um, the birds and two balloons and a cloud. And these two little mine the scrap. Uh, oh no, I've ripped it. I tried to get it open without ripping the sticker, but I failed. Okay, All right. Now I've ripped the whole bag. Oh, it's horrific. I know people will be very upset about that. Sorry. Okay, moving on. Two badges with maps on them. Let's see where you get. I've got part of Mexico there, obviously. And Holland, looks like. Yeah. Anyway, carrying on. Paper! From Imaginous Happy Traveler. This is bicycles and scooters with this cool little twist on geotags. Crepe paper poolside, lovely, bright, co brightly colored, but still subtle. Polka dot chevron and this kind of twist on color blocking. Pink Paisley Atlas. I love this little globe print with all the different text uh, pieces inside the globes. And distressed diagonal print there. Lovely cloud print. I do love a cloud paper. That's from Crate Paper Journey and it has this cork and triangle design on the other side. And a London map. Yay! There's Hyde Park. There's Regent's Park. Yeah, here's the river. Woo! I live over here. Um, <laughs> so this is also from Crate Paper Journey. And if London maps are not your thing, then there is a yellow and cream uh, kind of Aztec take on the chevron there. If I've totally just appropriated that incorrectly and that's not Aztec at all, then I'm really sorry. But that was just kind of... I don't know. That's the hunch I get with that in a design sense. But... Now I feel like I should go research Aztec design because I'm probably way off. Anyway, moving on. This is really cool. This is Pink Paisley Atlas. It's vellum with airplanes, and the airplanes are metallic silver foil. Like that. And then some cardstock. Swiss dot in the yellow. Buttery, buttery yellow. It's called cornmeal. Shimmery, shimmery aqua. These are all basil cardstocks, I believe. Those two are, anyway. And then this kind of nice neutral gray. Then, the first, I believe it's 45. The first 45 people to order this kit also get a little, a little present from me. You get the word and alphabet sticker set from True Stories. And then you get these two pieces that I've cut out and embossed for you so that you can have a little just kind of a, a trial of something that if you like it then you can go get the tool. So this is the uh, wood grain embossing folder from the first collection and this is from the die cut set in the first collection, this little globe um, and then you also get a little Chamel card, huh? Um, yeah, so you get those if you're the first 45 kits to be sold. Okay, so that's what you get in the kit. Um, if you're in the UK, then you'll find them at mindthescrap.co.uk. If you're not in the UK and this is the sort of thing that you would like, I will link up all the products um, that 
I can to US stores, but obviously some of them are exclusive to the kit, so you would only find them here. Okay, I'm going to grab some photos and make a page with this. For this page, I'm using a single 4x6 photo. It was taken in the airport in Portugal when we were waiting to fly home. And I just really like the architecture of the airport in Porto and then the um, the way that I could catch the silhouette of um, this is Wonder Boy with the passport just kind of crawling around while we were waiting for our flight to finally, finally take off because we were in Portugal during a pilot strike and that was fun. There we go. I've chosen the multicolored crate paper poolside um, pattern paper for the background that's going to stay 12 by 12 and then I'm going to layer other things on top of that. really want to use that blue pattern with the um, geotag so I'm just going to cut a strip of that. I'm going to try three inch strip and see if I like how that works. I think it should work out okay. Yep, so go ahead. And I was just having a momentary decision, ink or no ink. And I almost always go with ink, except on light blue. I'm really not a fan of the brown ink on light blue. So I just decided nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, how about some clouds? I want, I want to make a whole bunch of layers behind the photo, basically. So I'll just cut a whole bunch of different things to sizes that will let me layer behind there. So I'll make this maybe six and a half by four and a half. I need some things that are going to bring me some contrast here because that's, um, that's a lot of blue going behind a very blue photo. So let's find some contrast, bring in some of the glows. I actually really like this row that says let's go so I'm going to cut it down a little bit more so that I can get that on the edge. Maybe move my clouds over to this side a bit more. There we go. Definitely need some airplanes. And there's room to be a bit bigger with the airplanes because that's vellum. And, um, and the pattern is very small and repetitive. So not going to overwhelm things. And then I can see, do I want it on top or underneath? I want it underneath, I think. Definitely want it underneath the globes. I might put it over the top of the clouds. No, definitely underneath everything there. I'm getting there with those layers then. Let's see if there's anything else in the paper. I'm going to keep that London map as a full sheet because I want to use that for the background of a second layout, I think. Um, and the back of the globes is the gray stripe. Maybe the small piece that I've cut away. Yeah, I might bring that in there. I think I better open this wood veneer pack and see all the shapes. Oh, I could have just looked at the back, I suppose. Oh, you would think I would know things like that by now, but I like to look at them for real. You don't see scale and things like that on the previews. But there is an airplane in here. So I, think, I think the airplane will probably get, get a spot if I can find it. Where's the airplane? There it is. If you were spotting the airplane and waiting for me to catch on, then well done. And do I want to bring in my little white wood grain and my craft globe 
Um, neither of the giant words fits this because it was more work than holidays. So I don't want to use that there. But I can use some of the stamps, I think. Yep. Okay, so I'm just deciding on those two. Not sure yet. I think I'll go ahead and start gluing these. Stop faffing. Start gluing. Okay. While I'm gluing, I um, had a question the other day about what adhesive I use. And I use the Permanent Dot Adhesive Roller from American Crafts with this to that glue. But American Crafts are just debuting a new range of adhesives, and I haven't tried them yet. I'm hoping to try them soon. I don't know how different the rollers will be. So when I know, I'll let you know. Um, I also have a tiny roller, and I'm just looking across my desk, and I think it's in my bag at the moment. I have a tiny roller, which was released in the first collection, which is one, the, the handle is clear and glittery. Yay! Um, glitter for all. But also, um, it's narrower than the normal American Crafts adhesive. So the idea is that you can then use it on those pesky, teeny, tiny die cuts that you want to add in. But um, are you even going to know that this is a cloud print anymore? Oh, it happens sometimes. I'm okay with it. If I move this over just a little bit, will you tell that it's a cloud? Probably not. Okay. Anyway. Still like those layers, even if... Even if I have to just know that that's a cloud, and it's not so obvious. Okay, so the planes here are going that direction. That's what I was looking at. Um, do I want that plane to go in the same direction? I'm not so sure. I think I might add this layer in to go off the side because I've got all this vertical going on now. It would be nice to have a little bit of horizontal play to bring in some space here for the title. I'm not convinced that the white wood grain is exactly the right way to go on this particular piece. I think because these papers are all looking a little distressed and this this one is really, really white. Um, so I might save that for something else, but then I need something to go here. Okay, actually I changed my mind. Instead of doing paper out toward this side, I'm going to work with that globe. And I'm going to tuck this behind this layer here. Just lining up the base with the edge of that paper. And I'm going to pop the the plane on on here, but I want to stamp on this before I do that so that it's easy to stamp. Just deciding, do I want to use brown ink or blue or black ink? I think I'm going to go with black because my letter stickers are black. This photo being in silhouette makes it quite, quite like a black and white, even though it's black in color. So, black ink it is. That stamp's nice and clean. Yay, we like that on a stamp. And then I was also thinking, do I want to put this cloud behind the plane? So I'm going to check that by just using the preview here. And seeing if I would like it like that. If I just like it plain, no. I do like it on top there, but I want to um, I want to stamp over that edge, and I don't really want to take it all apart. So, just going to mask off the photo, stamp my cloud.
and add my airplane. Just find exactly the right spot to add it. <laughs> There, so it's fitting with the word there and it's bringing everything together. Okay, then I want to get out my thickers and add my title. Then this title heading out this way has given me my horizontal space so that I can do my journaling. I'm going to journal right onto the background paper above and below my title. And I think I may end up ending with the geotag. But we'll see how the writing fits to see if that works. Um, so that was a bit of a fail because I thought I was going to put this down here <laughs> and then I picked it up and obviously there's no way that's going to fit and over here is not really the same balance that I wanted. So oops, I'm just going to finish this with my little three hearts. I have no idea when I started doing the three hearts. I have a feeling it was because I had finished some journaling and that's how much room was left and now I just do it out of habit. There we go. Three little hearts. So maybe I'll bring the geotag up here to the top. And just do the origin and the destination. Okay, put that into place. Wondered since I'm using the wood veneer if there's something I could stamp there. Maybe the follow your heart is a, an okay one for going home. Although it does make me now wish I had a tiny little heart to put inside the geotag, so maybe I will just draw one rather than pull something from my stash. I also kind of wish I had a little bit more craft to add in somewhere, maybe just a little small piece here. In fact, I think I have a tiny airplane punch somewhere. I'm going to see if I do. <laughs> Victory! I have an airplane punch. I don't really know why I have an airplane punch. I suppose I fly enough that over the years that it comes in useful, but I, I do remember buying it and then thinking it's a bit of a silly thing to buy. Um, okay, so I can match up the craft cardstock maybe with the little airplane on one of these globes here. Okay, so that's kind of giving me three areas of embellishment. This one here, this one up here, and this one here. So that's where I'm going to build. I think I'll start with those word stickers. And as I look at it, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with leaving it here. But it's a bit better for my style. <laughs> I like more. More is more. That's what, that's what I say. Um, so let's see. Is there anything in the yellow? Because I like that I've got just this little bit of yellow in the layout, and I wouldn't mind adding a little bit more. Um, but the words aren't a good fit. Okay, what about the aqua and the turquoise shades? Perfect isn't really <laughs> the best when the journaling is about having trouble getting a flight. Do, do, do. Maybe just be fancy kind of works because he's a tiny little baby with a passport. In my mind, that's kind of fancy. Just seeing where this should go here. Maybe above, and then that means if this is my area of embellishment and I'm placing this up here, that means I need to kind of embellish all the way around this corner. So come back with something that might fit behind there. And where else? 
else could I pop a little sticker to help it pull together? merit to planning first and not gluing as you go but no it just doesn't work for me so just move it around <laughs> it's okay all right so I'll do that one there so now that I've started tucking them behind I feel like I need to stay consistent with that and find one that I can tuck up here and it would be nice if it's a bit of a bolder color because there's not much saturation in the color up there at the top and that would help bring it all together. It felt like a big victory to get home so I'm gonna go with that. Need something with some color. Maybe I bring the cloud print back. There's one of that over here. And just do... Well, I have this punch here so why don't I try it. underneath right there and since I have hearts there and there it's not completely random to have a heart there <laughs> I think I'll punch from one of the mats that has the darker blue and I'll grab pop dot to put on the back of that. This is the, the, the half height pop dots that are in my first collection so that you can have two layers. You can have your normal pop dots that are quite tall and then you can have some that are not as tall. Yeah, tiny little details that just make me happy. Should I maybe bring this up a little bit? No, the answer is no, I should not bring it up. This is a, a photo printed at home. I should have known better. My photo printer at home, if you put glue on it, it takes it, with the, uh, it takes the color away when you go, when you pull it back up. And um, so that gives me that space in the middle still. I was thinking actually that I wanted to bring in a little bit of pink because there's pink in this background paper. So I think that's what I might do. Just leave that filling that whole spot there. And do we want a little splash of pink somewhere else? I kind of like the idea of having a tiny bit down here from that E. Oh no, no, no. Did it not stick? Whew! Phew. That was nearly a disaster. Yeah, that was cuter in my mind than it is in reality. Nope. Let's let's delete. Control Z, Control Z. So of course now it's really stuck. There we go. Got it. I think the real answer is that I should just stop. Because anywhere I want to go is actually bringing more trouble. I'm going to tuck one here, and then I'm going to stop. Boop! 
Okay, it's done. It's done. It's done. Um, looking at this, do I want anything else? I need the date somewhere, so I use my date stamp. And then I think I'm done, done, done. I think I'm going to put the date actually right here. Uh, I feel like when I stamp a date, I have to check like 10 million times because I'm worried that I'll stamp it upside down. Woo, I got it right. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to say finish, finish, finished. Thank you so much for watching. This, again, was the Mind the Scrap kit, um, which is a new kit company, and the first 45 orders get that little embellishment gift from me. Um, if you are not in the UK and you just are interested in bits and pieces of this collection of things, um, some of them are custom, but some of them are available, so I will link them up in the blog post um, that you'll find the link to below. I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. And if you have this kit and you scrapbook with it, I would love to see um, your things. Obviously, with the Mind the Scrap kit, you can hashtag Mind the Scrap. If you use things from the Chamel collection or the little embellishment bits, please hashtag it Chamel so that I can find it too. Have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Over and out.